The NRL world is still recovering from one of the biggest, worst calls in history. The West Tigers got absolutely robbed against the North Queensland Cowboys after the bunker ruled an escort penalty when everyone else in the world thought that there was no penalty to be given, let alone the fact that the captain's challenge should not have been allowed in the first place. And as the great James Graham said, Cannot, you cannot that's take this on the sideways, which denies Kyle oh, Felton. No! That's a disgrace! That is a disgrace! A that, is a disgrace. that is a disgrace, Dan. That video ran so that this was a shocker. Game over. It should be game over. That is a shocker. Are you kidding? It's going to be successful. It's an escort run. You questioned from before. They retained it because the bunker had okay. a conclusive evidence. Can you challenge that? You can't challenge, challenge the bunker. You can't okay. challenge the bunker. They Why not? Are, it's a challenge. They, are, challenge. they already cleared that, mate. That was a disgrace. Grace. Kyle Felt's got a smile on his face like he knows he got away with something. Wow. That, why are they, what, what are they challenging the full, the full, the full time, time whistle? The full-time siren went. The, yes. They're challenging the fact that the full-time siren went. What are they challenging? Still in play. There's no decision to challenge. It's just a tackle. Val Holmes will have a shot to win the yeah. game. This is... is that is a going. robbery. There has been a balaclava, Look at a sawed off shotgun, and someone's gone up to Townsville and robbed the Tigers of two points down. That hey, is a disgrace. They lost yet. Brad Eels. But they should have been embarrassed because the West Tigers deserve to win that football game. But this really just finally puts the nail in the coffin into what I have personally been saying on this channel and in private for the past two years. The NRL's biggest problem is the bunker and the NRL refereeing. Now, before we get into the video, guys, you know the rules. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your thoughts down below. And also, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I have no idea made a dumb call last night and it's just one of many we have seen this year but perhaps it could be the biggest and oh my god the outroar has been something else Kyle Phil he just runs into the back yeah yeah that's that's he runs into the back of Asu Kapoa and this will be game over Kapoa's running towards the ball had no eyes for Kyle Phil I don't think you can award a penalty to the Cowboys. Asu Kapoa is running towards the ball or running sideways to block Kyle Feld's path. He's looking at the ball and running towards where the Asu ball is going to come down. Sideways, which denies Kyle oh, Feld. Oh, my goodness. What? My goodness. What? Are you, you serious? No. He's had a shocker in the box today. Ashley Klein, an absolute shocker. shocker. I can't, I can't believe they fucking gave the fucking penalty at the end of the game. How can the referees do that? How? The Tigers have just been robbed two tries in the last five minutes and then get stung by a horrendous obstruction call. I don't know how that came from the bunker. Bro, what the fuck was that? That call at the end of the game is absolutely shocking and I hate to use the term, but the Tigers were robbed there. Now guys, this video isn't scripted basically because I'm still recovering from a concussion I got the other day So we're just going to roll off the tongue because I need to get this video out as soon as possible But last night really put a highlight on what I have been saying for a while now The referees and that goddamn bunker are the single biggest problem the NRL has at the moment because as a person who watches most of the games every single week, it is ruining the competition and I have no idea what's going on. I can sit back, watch a captain's challenge, watch a penalty, watch anything, and it is completely different from the game I saw previously. In one game it's a sin bin, in one game it's a send off, in one game it's not even a penalty, in one game it's a strip, and in one game, it's a lost ball. And it's happening not just from game to game. It is happening from minute to minute. The NRL referees, the bunker, have got absolutely no idea what they are doing. And like I said, I don't know if it's the referee's fault. I don't know if it's the board's fault. I have no idea. But if you were to make a compilation of the Every call that was wrong in the NBA, what, half an hour of the NFL, you'd probably get an hour. In the NRL, we are only eight, 19 rounds into it. And an origin series 
and you could literally take nearly every single call from every single game and they would be wrong. And you know what's bad is when we get one great call in the commentary and the commentators sit back and go, who's the referee or who's the bunker? Oh, that's a great call. They've had a great game tonight. And then the next play, they stuff it up. Now, it's sort of like playing. It's very easy for me to sit back and criticize them. And you know what? I would probably stuff up just as much, but not in this situation. Everyone on the planet, even those in Africa without a television who do not know what rugby league is, thought that there was no penalty to be given. But the one dude on this planet, the one dude on this great universe said, that it was a penalty. When I sit down and you watch a game, when a captain's challenge comes up, I don't know what you guys are anymore, but you listen to the commentators, I don't even bother listening, because it is a straight up lottery at this point. The whole thing is completely up for grabs, because there is no consistency. One week, it's black and white. The next minute, not the next week, on the next month, the next minute, we're interpreting it. I think the biggest example of this was that Broncos Newcastle call. Now, in a game that was pretty much dead, all the Broncos were going to win no matter what. But for the past three years, there has been a rule. If you run behind your own player, it's a penalty. But because the bunker dude said that it was on their 20 meter line, it was fine. One minute, you want to use black and white. The next, we're interpreting the rules. One minute, it's a sin bin. One minute, it's a send-off. It is completely in the dark at this point. I have no idea. Honestly, I've got no idea. And if the NRL don't fix this soon, we're going to be done. As a sport, there's going to be no sport left. We're already there because bloody Penrith is just going to win everything for the next 10 years. But you need to fix this. Even in the biggest NRL game of the season, State of Origin Game 3, I could count the amount of bad calls on both of my hands. I honestly don't know anymore, guys. I don't know what anyone else's experience is. I don't know what else to think. But when I sit there and I'm watching an NRL match, and I see any sort of decision made, I just kind of have to switch my brain off. Because I have no idea. I know if anyone else feels the same way, or what's going on. I guess what I'm trying to say here is NRL fix your shit. That is what I'm trying to say. All right? NRL, fix your bunker, fix your refereeing. If it's your fault, own up to it. Because at the moment, you're letting me just throw your refs under the bus. Guys, thanks for listening to my rant, which was absolutely not scripted at all, so it probably sounded like absolute dribble. So smash that like button if you enjoyed, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free, and I'll see you guys in the next one.